want to ask you one more time. How you feel? All right. All right. Oh, I ain't good enough. How you feel? All right. How you feel? All right. How you feel? All right. All right. Marion Barber's Minnesota weekend includes a football camp for the youngsters in the community. Over 300 athletes turned out to be taught football by Marion, his father, his brother Dom who plays in the NFL, and many of Marion's close friends and many of his colleagues from the NFL. It's been a great day today at the, the second annual Barber football camp. You know, we, we've been out here since about 8 o'clock. Started the day off doing drills with the kids, offensive drills and defensive drills. Now we've moved into a little razzle-dazzle stuff and the kids are having a lot of fun. A lot of kids showed up and we're just uh, trying to get the inner city uh, something a fighting to look forward to every, every, every summer. To hone their skills, get better, participate in drills, meet a lot of NFL players, you know, just show them a better way out. They make sure the kids learn stretching, and proper running technique, and then they teach them the fundamentals of football. You can run faster running like this or running like this. Exactly. So you gotta in every route, you gotta you gotta be running using your arms, and then as soon as the ball's there, you gotta have your hands up so you can be ready to catch. But you don't don't run like this and wait for the ball. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's perfect. Very good. How does having NFL guys show these kids, how does that help? Well, because they've been through it, and it shows them. It's not like any random person telling you what to do. It's the people that have gone through it. Two baby. Get in, go ahead, go. On you. Come on, Cuzzo. I'm uh, happy to be out here with Marin and Tom, uh, giving back to the community, and uh, you know, teaching these kids a little bit about football, something that they know a lot oh, about. Oh, you need to work on your flexibility. They also get instruction and inspirational speeches from several sports professionals. Some people are tackling with their head and neck. You can't do that. You can't. You can't tackle like that. Because you break your neck. You will you have to put your head up so that you like that. So that as you approach it, you're actually picking up grass like that. So that you come up. And then you just it's kinda heavy, but what do you what do you hope these kids get out of this camp? I hope again, uh that they they took some, some things away, not just football wise. That's your ball, okay? You see a big guy like that, take the ball all the time, all right? I stress, just be a good listener to the kids, man. Who wins? Who wins? Size of the heart. You decide who wins. You decide who wins. Forget size. Size makes no difference. What makes a good athlete, you guys? Give me three or four reasons. What are the components of being an athlete? Attitude's a great answer. What else? Good sportsmanship, yep. Staying fit, so how do you stay fit? You eat well, yep. What I want to talk about is just a little bit. I'm out here at, this, movie, uh, at the man. barber camp, having a good time, giving back yeah, to the community. Fun. It's always good to see um, you know, young kids in the but, NFL come back to their communities and, um, and get back and try to help out. And um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that you know, a lot of the kids can, can, can gain from um, you know, learning from NFL players and just being, us, being around them. Maybe, you know, all it takes is one, just to inspire one of these kids out here. And um, you know, it's always, um, sky's the limits for any of, any, any of these guys. And um, you know, we just try to push them along. Pay attention to the coaches because they're here to help you, okay? They're here to help you get better. And let's make sure, again, like I said, that you guys have fun and enjoy this day, okay? Who dreams, who here has a dream of being a college football player? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Who dreams of being a Minnesota Golden Gopher? Raise your hand. Huh? Minnesota Golden Gopher. I like it. Loving like it. it. Giving back to the kids when I was younger. Didn't nobody do it for me. I'm glad that I can be out here and showing these kids the right way to do things. And I'm excited about it. Now, let, now understand, your dream can come true, okay? Your dream can come true. I was a little guy sitting where you're sitting, and everybody where I was from said, you're not going to do this, you're not going to do that, because nobody from where we're from does big things, does good things. Uh, just having a great day with the kids, uh, man, Barber, Don Barber, you know, big cool, Father Barber, I mean, just having a great time, showing the kids good work ethic, and uh, you know, just having a good time while we're doing it. Well, you know what? Believe in yourself, and believe in your dream. The thing that you gotta do now, listen to, listen to me now, big fella, the thing that you gotta do is you gotta get good grades in school, okay? 
Who gets good grades in school? Raise your hand. Everybody, I love it. That's good stuff, okay? Because to go to college, you got to get good grades. Who dreams about playing in the National Football League? NFL. That's awesome, guys. That is absolutely awesome. And you know what? Your dream can happen. How you feel about this event this year, man? It feels, it feels good, man, just being outside with the kids and, and giving back. And uh, really expressing the love that a lot of guys helping out here. You see the event is getting bigger and bigger every year. And of course, next year it will even be bigger. And giving back to the community and the inner city kids, that's special. You could have went to the suburban area, but you went to the less fortunate, where poverty is. We got a lot of respect for that. And I just want to say thank you, man, and keep doing the good work. You know, I appreciate that. Um, it's, it's, it's important to, to be, you know, all that you can be in the army. It's all for a good cause, and it's all in good fun. Marion Barber's annual football camp is the Barber's football camp, and that happens once a year in Minnesota. I'm Michael Artsis in Minnesota for Sports.com.